hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix ark lost colony game crashing or crashing at startup or black screen lagging freezing low fps issue on pc so let's jump to the solutions so the very first what you need to do is to you should check that to play the game it requires the ark survival ascended base game to be installed on your pc now after that you are also uh, required a dlc it's easily mentioned over here that ark lost colony also requires the dlc ark lost colony expansion pass so you are required dlc for to play the game make sure you have all these and after that you are also suggested to check the system requirements to play the game for that search for the game in the store on on steam and then go below from here you will find the system requirements to play the game make sure your pc have all the required specs and after that try to play the game and check whether it's working or not if not next method is to restart your pc as well as steam so steam users what you need to do is steam click on steam option or click on exit after that click on start option then uh, click on windows icon then click on power then select restart so this will restart your pc as well as steam once done now try to launch the game and check whether it's working if not next is to modify launch option so for that go to steam under library section here you have to select your game now i am showing you an example now after selecting the game right click on it click on properties now in the general here you have to type minus dx11 and then try to launch the game and check if this doesn't resolve the issue again come back type minus dx12 and then launch the game and check if it's working now if the issue still occurs come back again remove the launch option and move to the next method so next method is to update your graphics card for that go to the windows search over here now search for device manager here you have to expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will check and update your graphics drivers once done launch the game and check nvidia and amd users go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there next method is to verify integrity of game files so for that uh, go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files so this will take some time once the game files are verified launch the game and check if it's working now if not next is to allow the game through firewall so for that go to the windows search search for windows security now click on firewall network protection click on allow an app through firewall click on change settings now after that here you have to uh, search and select the game if it's not listed click on allow another app click on browse now go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application add it to the list over here after that select it make sure both public and private boxes are ticked then click on ok and then launch the game and check if it's working if not next method is to run game as administrator so for that go to steam select your game under library section right click on it click on manage now click on browse local files this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed so here you have to select the game application now after the game application you select it right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility and then select run this program as an administrator click on apply and ok and then launch the game and check if this doesn't resolve again come back select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or win windows 7 hit on apply and ok and launch the game if the issue still occurs select disable full screen optimizations click on apply and ok and then check if it's working now if not then come back again this uh, uncheck all of these click on apply and ok and then launch the game and check if it's working now if not next method is to close unnecessary background tasks so for that go to the windows search search for task manager now under process tab here you have to search for those apps which are of no use but still running in the background select it right click on it click on end task this will completely close the app from the background after that try to launch the game and check if not next is to update windows so for that go to the windows search now search for check for updates this will take you to the windows update page here you have to click on check for updates option and it will 
check if there is any update available. If yes, update your Windows to the latest version and then launch the game and check. If not, next method is to check graphic settings of the game. So when a graphic settings are not properly set up like texture, quality, resolution, etc. Then it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues. So make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issue. Next is to install Visual C++ files. For this, I have already provided this link in the description. Just copy and paste it in your browser. Now once the website opens, go below. From here, you have to download the Visual C++ files. Once the file is downloaded, open it. Open it and you will get install or repair option. Click on repair and you have to wait for some time unless you get set up successful message. Once done, close this and then restart your PC once. Now after your PC restarts, log in to the game and check if you can play it without any further problem. If not, next method is to disable in-game overlays. So Steam users, go to Steam, click on settings, click on in-game and here you can see enable the Steam overlay while in-game option is enabled. Click on it to disable. Once it is disabled, now launch the game and check if it's working now. For GeForce Experience users, open GeForce Experience, tap on gear icon beside username, click on general and switch off in-game overlay option from here. For discard overlay, go to the user settings, game overlay tab, switch off enable in-game overlay option. Next method is to change virtual memory settings. For that, go to the Windows search, search for view advanced system settings. Click on settings, click on advanced click on change now here you have to select the drive where your game has been installed after that select custom size in the initial size you have to type 12288 and in the maximum size you have to type 24576 click on set and then click on ok once done now launch the game and check whether it's working if not next method is to perform a clean boot so for that you have to press windows plus r and have to type ms config and press ok this will open system configuration page go to the services tab now select hide all microsoft services then click on disable all after that go to the startup tab click on open task manager and from here also select the application and then click on disable option after that go back click on ok once done restart your pc and then try to launch the game and check if it's launching if not next method is to run the game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for graphic settings now here you have to sell, uh, add your game to the list so for that click on add desktop app now go to the game folder select the game application add it to the list over here after adding it now under gp preference you have to select high performance once done launch the game and check if it's working now if not next method is to install directx on your system for that copy the link that i have already provided in the description and paste it in your browser now once the website opens go below from here you have to download the DirectX now once it is downloaded install it after installing it restart your PC once and then try to play the game and check if whether it's working now if not then the final solution is to reinstall ARK lost colony game for that go to Steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so this will completely close the game or remove the game from your system after that restart your PC once once your PC restarts again launch Steam and reinstall ARK lost call any game once again and then click on the play button to check whether it's working or not so that's all for now in this video thank you